My team and I are here to help you when you need help. If you hit a roadblock, perhaps a bug that you can't figure out, uh, some miswiring or anything else that might be causing you trouble and stalling you from progressing in the course, then feel free to get in touch with us. There's a few different ways by which you can get in touch and ask a question. The easiest way to ask a question is by using the Q&A tool and there are two ways by which you can access it. Here at the home page of the course on Udemy there's a tab called Q&A. You can click on it and you can ask your question here. I such as I am having some trouble with the GPIOs or whatever it might be. Of course, I am recording this before the course is published, so there are no existing questions and answers. But over time, as questions and answers are being populated, you'll see that as you are typing the question, you'll be seeing relevant previous questions and answers coming up in this user interface. So it is possible that whatever you are asking somebody else has asked in the past and an answer is there available for you. Another place by which you can ask a question is from inside a lecture. So let's say that you are now learning about the web application stack so that you are inside the video player Notice that there is a little button down here called Browse Q&A. So you can click on that and here you'll see previous questions, if there are any, in the context of this current lecture. And if there aren't any questions and answers, you can ask a new one. So you can say something like, why do you call it a stack or something like that? Remember that a good question has two parts, a good heading or title and some detailed description. So I always appreciate it when the student takes a bit of time to provide a descriptive title, not too long, not too short, just enough so that when I or my team are looking through the questions, you can quickly dissert what a particular question is about. And then in the body, you can talk about any details that you think are important for us to be able to take into account as we're providing an answer. So for example, what actions have you taken so far to try to answer your own question? Have you done any experimentation perhaps? Have you done any external readings? If you're having trouble with a hardware component, for example, have you tried anything to detect whether the component is defective or not? So anything here that you can provide will help me and my team to give you a better and faster answer. So that's another place where you can post a question. As an alternative, you may also want to use the Tech Explorations help desk. So the help desk contains a knowledge base. You can see some of the posts here. So there's a knowledge base and there's also a ticketing system. So you can click on the new support ticket and you can fill in the details needed in order to submit this form and raise a new ticket. So typically we try to clear all the tickets in our support queue first before moving on to other places where students may ask questions. If you do use this option, please follow again the same guidelines when it comes to creating a subject and putting in the description for your question. But it's also great if you could accurately select the appropriate course from this drop down and the place of your enrollment. So in your case, it will be Udemy. Also, there's a request URL here. With the request URL, what you can do is to copy, let's say that you are in one of those lectures, you can copy the full URL of this particular lecture. So copy that and then paste it in the request URL. So by doing that, we will know which lecture you were viewing when a particular question popped in your mind. So that's an alternative. Back to Udemy. Another thing that I want to point out is the announcements. Here I'll be putting announcements when, for example, there is an update to the course, when I fix a bug perhaps in GitHub, when I publish a new lecture, things like that. So these things will be announced. And normally you will receive those announcements via email if you have opted in. So 
lecture ready emails and daily QA digest. If you have those two check uh, checkboxes checked, then you will receive those announcements. But those announcements are also stored here under the announcements tab. So if you miss an announcement, perhaps you enroll in the course after the announcement was made, then you can check inside the announcements tab to see what has been announced in the past. So these tools are designed to help you make the most out of the course. And again, remember that there is always help when you need it. So to conclude, uh, there's quite a few ways to get in touch with us if you need to ask any question and we'll be very happy to help you with anything that you need.